Carnitas Street Tacos made simple in your kitchen and I'm going to show you how. So in this recipe, we're going to be using my crock pot today. We're going to be cooking approximately four pounds of pork butt. We're going to be also incorporating a yellow onion or red onion, Mexican cumin, Mexican oregano, salt, pepper, some jalapenos, fresh cilantro, some pineapple and orange juice to add to the marinade, and some street taco uh, corn tortillas. So let's get right into this recipe and let's get cooking. So we're going to put two teaspoons chili powder. one half teaspoon salt. Oops, a little bit too much, but it's half a teaspoon. One half teaspoon black pepper. Okay. Okay, one tablespoon, where is it at? Cumin. Okay, and then one tablespoon dried oregano. I like the Mexican oregano, it just has that extra special flavor compared to the regular oregano. Okay, and so we're gonna mix these together. Okay. And this is what your mix should look like. So the next step after all our spices are well combined, we're gonna go ahead and rub these generously all over our pork butt. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and plop them into this bowl and just go ahead and rotate my four and a half pounds of pork. This recipe calls for four pounds, but I did four and a half pounds because it tends to shrink a little bit because you know it's kind of a fattier piece of pork, but oh, so delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and generously apply all the seasoning to my pork. And today is Sunday, so it's game day. So I have some people waiting and chomping at the bit for these tacos. Okay. And this is what my meat looks like. Okay, so the next step of this recipe is we're going to get our chopped up white onion, our finely diced jalapeno, and our minced garlic added to that marinated meat mixture. So I am on it. Okay, so I have my crock pot that is ready to go. It's hot, it's on high, and I have my marinated, well-seasoned pork butt. I'm gonna go ahead and plop that right into my, oops, I'm gonna go ahead and plop that right into my marinade. I'm going to put in my white onions, my diced up chopped onions, and my finely diced Jalapeno, again, all the description and how to of this recipe will be posted in the description box below. And the next is my garlic. Okay. Let's put, love garlic. And the secret weapon is for me the orange juice, but the extra special weapon is I added pineapple juice. So it's a combo. It's like Three quarters cup pineapple and three quarters cup orange. So this is going to be amazing. Let's get that onto the meat. Okay. And I'm going to cook this on high for approximately five hours. Okay, so my carnitas are done. I'm gonna take a little bit out of my crock pot. It is so hot. But I'm gonna go ahead, oh my gosh, this is so fall apart. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and shred all my meat and I'm gonna put it in my oven on broil for about five to 10 minutes just to crisp it up, to, get it, to give it that nice crispy texture, but not too crispy. So I will show you the final product when it's done. Okay, so my carnitas are done. I let them broil in the oven for an additional five to 10 minutes and they're extra, extra fall apart. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I cannot wait to serve this to my 
parents and my family and my husband and my kids and this is absolutely if you can see how juicy and how fall apart this meat is oh my god so taste test time let's do it let's get our corn tortilla the tiny little street taco kind i'm gonna cut put a little bit of this delicious meat shredded meat on it a little bit of squeezed lime just a little bit fresh cilantro i like to keep it simple some red onion and just a little bit of my fresh salsa roja delicious let's taste it mm. Oh my god. Mm, 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 mm. So good. So good. You have to try this recipe. And make extra. I put the recipe in the description box below for you to try this out. And let me give it a little wash down with my Modelo. Absolutely perfect. A Modelo and a Carnita Street Taco on a football Sunday. It can't get any better than this. Here's to tasty food, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.